Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will be working on the uh, onboarding view controller. We will be setting up the collection view over here, and we have a, a page paging control over here. Sorry, a page control over here, and we want to correspond uh, this page control according to the slides or the cell that's being displayed on the collection view. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to head over to the onboarding view controller and we want to create an IB outlet for the collection view. So let's just type in IB outlet week var collection view and this will be of type UI collection view. All right, let's end it with an exclamation mark. All right, so the next thing we want to do is let's go over to the main.storyboard. Okay, so over here on the uh, onboarding view controller itself on the top, let's just right click on this and you should see a outlet over here that says collection view. This is what we just created. Let's click on this uh, and just drag this to the collection view itself. Okay, just let go. And now that you see that uh, there's a connection of uh, between the UI and this uh, onboarding view controller over here. All right, so we want to do another thing as well. So um, if you click on the collection view itself, okay, uh, just right click on this and you will see a data source and delegate over here. So I want you to also click on this and drag this over here to the top. Okay, so when it's connected successfully, you notice that there is a solid circle in the, in, in the center. All right, so we have not connected the delegate. So let's do it now. Click on this, drag and click on and, and let go when this is being highlighted. All right. So now we have connected the, the data source and the delegate uh, for the collection view. All right, so let's go back to the onboarding view controller. And I think in this uh, lecture, uh, I want to keep it uh, short. Uh, let's just populate a couple of uh, collection views onto the uh, uh, let's populate a couple of collection view cells onto the collection view and then we will work on to refine it to make it look like the real thing okay so let's do extension over here and we do onboarding view controller and this will inherit ui collection view delegate all right this will also inherit ui collection view data source and lastly, this will inherit UI collection view delegate flow layout. Okay, so let's open the, the braces over here. And the first method I want to do is a number of items in section. So just typing in number of items in section, uh, this will be highlighted and let's double click on this. So this method uh, wants us to return an integer uh, and this, as the name suggests, it wants us to return the number of items uh, to populate in a section. All right, so uh, I'm just going to return 10, okay, and then we will work on the real thing subsequently. And then uh, I'm going to type in cell for row, is that cell for item, sorry. So let's type in cell for item and let's, uh, op uh, let's create this uh, function over here. And over here, it wants us to return uh, a UI collection view cell. So we already have a prototype cell over, uh, on our storyboard. So let's do uh, let cell equals to collection view dot the queue reusable cell let's select the first one and for the reuse identifier let's just type in cell id all right and then um under four we'll just put in index path okay and i'm just going to return cell and also cell i just want to uh, change the background color so that i know that this is correct all right so i'm just going to set it to red and let's just copy this control c uh sorry, command C uh, to copy this cell ID. And let's go back to the main.storyboard and uh, let's come over to this cell. Okay, just remember that you need to select the cell instead of the collection view. So when you select on the cell and you come over here to the property inspector, you'll see uh, an identifier. And this is where I want you to paste the cell ID inside. Let's hit the enter button to uh, input this in. All right, okay, so let's go back to the onboarding view controller again. And uh, uh, we can remove this uh, view.backgroundColor because we have already uh, identified that we have integrated uh, the file successfully. So let, maybe let me just remove this. And uh, we can, maybe we can just keep the setup views. Uh, we might have uh, some use for it later. Okay, and I'm just gonna quickly run the simulator and let's see uh, what do we have.
All right, so over here we see that we have 10 cells that are being populated. All right, and uh, the cells are pretty small, so we want the cell to fill up the uh, the view itself, the collection view itself. So what I can do is that over here, I think we have a method called size for. So oh yeah, it's called size for item at. So let me just uh, double click on that. And over here, this method wants us to return a CG size. So what we can do is that we can uh, return a collection view dot frame dot size. Okay, I think this should work. Okay, let's run the simulator. Alright, so uh, as you can see over here, the, the collection view cell fills up the uh, size of the collection view. Okay, but um, this uh, is in a vertical axis. So what we want to do is that we want to make it a horizontal axis and, and also we want to have some sort of uh, effect where you know when we let go it kind of snaps to the next cell. So what we need to do is that we need to create some kind of um, uh, flow layout. So over here at the top under the view the load we want to create another method over here and let's name it uh, setup collection view. All right let's copy that and let's also create a private function over here, set up collection view. And uh, we're gonna type in, we're gonna create a layout. So let's do let layout equals to UI collection view uh, flow layout. Okay, let's initialize this. So we have a layout over here. And let's do layout dot scroll direction equals to horizontal. All right, because right now, as you can tell, this is scrolling vertically. So we wanna set it to be horizontal. And then uh, let's do collection view dot background color. So let's let's change the background color to system group background. All right. Let's do collection view dot collection view layout equals to this layout that we created over here. All right. A few more other properties that we want to set collection view dot is paging enabled equals to true. So this allows uh, this gives us the uh, the effect whereby you know it snaps to the next uh, collection view cell and the last thing that we want to do is collection view uh, dot shows a horizontal scroll indicator and let's set this to false all right so we can run this but uh, chances are we won't uh, be able to uh, tell the difference because all the cells are going to be red in color. So what I can do is that I can uh, maybe create a some kind of logic over here uh, to differentiate the different uh, cells uh, via the colors. So what I can do is that I can say that hey index path dot item okay if modulus uh, 2 equals to 0 Okay, so what I'm saying is that okay, so index path item uh, is the same as index path dot row. So if I divide by two and the remainder is zero, then maybe let's have it a blue cell. All right. Otherwise, let's have it a red cell. Okay. So this is really just for testing. So let's uh, let's run this. Okay, so over here I can, so as you can see, we have the alternate blue and red cell over here. Uh, but we have a small little problem, don't we? We see this white little space over here. Okay, so we do need another method to fix this. And uh, over here, let's put in the minimum line spacing. Minimum lines, oh, minimal line spacing. Oh, I can't type that. Okay, maybe just type in minimal line spacing for section at. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And let's just return zero. I think this will work. And let's hit the command R button to just run the simulator one more time. All right, so I think we have the desired effect that we want. All right. Okay. So guys, this is all I have for you in this video. In the subsequent video, uh, we will be uh, including a custom image over here and we'll be hooking it up with the page control. All right. See you guys in the next video.